We're here to recognize students that have done an outstanding job in English classes and English language development classes this year. Our teachers have chosen students in each class that have stood out for their effort, their work, and their excellence in the subject matter. I will now turn it over to our teachers. Hey folks, Mr. Carey here um, to announce my winners of the English Department Awards. Um, English is a great subject. There's a lot of reading and writing, but these are students that have shown the ability to be excellent in reading and writing, but also about reflecting and connecting and are really bringing uh, literature to life. So uh, for English 4, we've got two outstanding young ladies um, our winners this year. Uh, first one is uh, Madison Sparks. Madison Sparks in our uh, third period, a tremendous effort, uh, A's in both semesters. And also from our third period is uh, Lauren DuVos. Lauren, uh, another excellent student. Um, exemplary, both of these young ladies exemplary for their uh, contributions to class. Okay, uh, moving on to English 3, uh, three outstanding young people. Uh, first one from our seventh period, Veronica Noriega. Um, a little on the quiet side, which uh, means that it just takes a little longer to understand what an excellent student uh, Veronica is. Um, from our fifth period, um, Eben Murphy, uh, terrific student, with a great participation, uh, incredible enthusiasm for um, the subject. And last but not least, from our second period, Tyler Vargas. Uh, Tyler is uh, one of those go-to students that helps uh, other students understand what we're reading, um, great contributions to group discussions, and so on. Uh, thank you, folks. Have a good day. Hey, Cougars. Miss Jansen here. So when I was thinking about um, who I would nominate for Academic Achievement Awards, I thought about perseverance, consistency, and of course, kindness. So with that being said, uh, juniors, congratulations to Rachel Jenner. Congratulations to Kai Eckert. Congratulations to Nicholas Fish. And for my seniors, congratulations to Yesenia Leal Becerra. And congratulations to Ellie Rembert. Have a great day, everyone, and congratulations to all the Cougars. Bye! One student from the AP English Lit class is next to impossible, but this year I chose Elizabeth Wallace. Her sense of humor, her generosity, and her dedication to literature inspires us all. I wish I could give at least 10 awards to each of my sophomore classes, but I could only choose three students. I chose Noelle Lopez for her compassion and her strong writing, Samuel Campos, because it all comes so naturally to him, and Anna Serratos for her wonderful participation. Students in the yearbook class have worked hard to be both creative and to meet their deadlines. But this year's award goes to Daisy Sarabia. She has gone above and beyond to make the 2020 yearbook the best possible. Hello everybody, Mr. Carey here to announce Mr. Mullins English Department Awards. First in Sadai 1, Joel Ruiz Rivas. In ELD 3, Jessica Chavez. And we have three winners for Advanced English 1. First, we have Connor Black. Second, we have Josephine Kearns. And last, we have Camila Tholke. Congratulations to you all. Hey Cougars, it's Miss Shower. I wanna start off by congratulating all of you on your hard work this year, and especially during this school closure. You guys are all awesome. I'm gonna start out with my department awards for AP Language and Composition. First, we have Emily Cook. Emily, your hard work this 
year. Your kindness has been truly inspiring. I love seeing your face every day in the classroom, so congratulations. Next for AP Language and Composition, we have Gwynna Putz. Gwynna, you are incredibly strong in your convictions. You are a hard worker. You really know how to advocate for yourself, so congratulations to you, Gwynna. Next for AP Language and Composition, we have Ryan Hildebrand. Ryan, all of your work this year has been exemplary. You managed to teach myself and your classmates a few things along the way, so thank you so much for that. Congratulations. For English 4, I have Kohei Tanaka. Kohei, you are incredibly smart. You are sharp. You are kind. All of your work this year has been truly awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And finally for English 4, Myla Jimenez. Myla, your passion and your love for Hamlet reminds me of my own passion and love of Hamlet when I was in high school. Congratulations for all your hard work and thank you so much. Hi there, everybody. I am in such a spectacular spot right now in Pacifica. We are so lucky to live where we are and I am so lucky to have these students that I'm about to identify as the top students in my classes this year. As you've heard from other teachers, um, I want to celebrate everybody, every student that I have who's been on their own journey in whatever way, uh, wherever they may have started and wherever they are proceeding. But in particular for these six, uh, I want to give a little special attention. You know, I look at their names and I will individualize them in a moment. But they all share something in common as I look at them and sure, every one of these six obviously has done A plus work. They have all um, been disciplined, been attentive, been ready in class, been so respectful, but they've also brought such a joy to learning and that has elevated my spirit. Um, yeah, one thing as I look at them, all six of them at some point this year, I pulled aside and said, hey, um, can you do me a favor? And it might have been something small like pick up orange peels or move the desks or see if that um, um, audio that I sent to students, if it did actually get through. Um, I leaned on these students um, because I sensed with them all that they were part of the community of teaching and learning. Um, they were, um, I, I needed them. <laughs> um, and they, I sensed, were the kind of folks that would um, say yes. And I'd say that's another commonality among these six is the word yes. Yes to the schoolwork, yes to the crazy ideas I might have, um, yes to picking up the orange peels, yes to, can you help me just put these desks in order please? Um, that kind of thing. Okay, with all that said, um, I have two students in EL. I have an uh, EL1 and 2 for EL1, Jerome Barnakia. Oh, Jerome is just so nice. Um, he's the one who, without my even asking, picks up the orange peels. So for Jerome, thank you. Uh, Jessica Chavez uh, for EL2, uh, such a playful spirit. Any kind of silly game drama situation uh, I concocted, she said yes to and jumped right into it. I have three English 1 sections and for English, uh, for fifth period, Peter Valdez, uh, Peter, uh, besides having such a strong intellect, was willing to take some chances. Um, yeah, we would, would have opinions that might be a little off the most accepted ones, but he would defend them, and he would defend them in an intellectual way, and got me to rethink a few things. Uh, period six, Dante Rogers, uh, such a creative spirit. His stories were really imaginative and energetic. Um, excellent, excellent student. And for seventh period, Belinda Morales, um, I think the thing that stands out to me as I sit on this bluff when I think of Belinda is just the way 
she looked with such attention and alertness and would actually lean into knowledge in the class. Um, a natural, effusive enthusiasm from Belinda. I have one class of sophomores, English 2, and that um, distinction goes to Anton Clark. Anton, um, such a worldly spirit, having lived in London. I think he speaks Russian. I think his mother is Russian. I might be right about that. Um, so he and I, uh, because I've traveled to a lot of places, lived in a lot of places, he and I had that connection of stretching things out to other um, other cultures, other ethnicities, other religions, other places to live. Um, fabulous student and person. So to those six and to all of my students, my many, many thanks and congratulations. Bye. Hey, it's Mr. Board here. I want to give my department awards to five students that have been excellent in reading, writing, listening, and speaking in class. In my English 2 class, the award goes to Rocio Montalongo Ahmura. Rocio is a wonderful student who's done great work this year. In my advanced English 2 classes, I'd like to give the awards to Deirdre Jones, Cassandra Rogers, Isabel Vasquez, and Dorothea Bork. Thank you students for being wonderful and thanks for making it a great year. Students, once again, congratulations. A job well done that you've done such good work this year. Very proud of you.